Today, I'm going to introduce you to a very special guest from Germany. A lot of engineering students contact me and always ask me, can you help me getting admission into a top university in Germany, especially engineering students? So today, we're going to meet Mr. Clemens from the TU Hamburg University and discuss the programs his university is offering for international students and specifically for engineers. So engineers, please watch the video from start to end and do subscribe our channel for more such information. Hello everyone. Today we have a very special guest from Germany, from NIT TU Hamburg. And I want to introduce you to Mr. Clemens from NIT. Clemens, thank you for joining for this session. It's very important. I know you have only one day in India where you can give this time to me. But please introduce yourself to our audience. My name is uh, Clemens Kleiminger. I'm the CEO of the Northern Institute of Technology Management, the private business school of uh, the famous Hamburg University of Technology, NIT TU, uh, TU Hamburg. If you are an engineering student, studying any engineering program in Indian University, I'm sure you know about the top technical German universities in Germany. So TU Hamburg is one of the top universities in Germany offering engineering and management programs for international students in English language completely. Let's understand and know why TU9. So Clems, when we talk about going to Germany, see yes. we, we all know there's a huge amount of students going from India to Germany for their engineering programs yes. or for their top management programs or MBA programs. But when you say about NIT TU Hamburg, what exactly is the offering for Indian students? Well, we have a very unique combination, uh, which you won't find in Germany or elsewhere. Uh, what we offer is a double master, where okay. you make your master of science and engineering okay. in one of the engineering subjects in, in English. So it's computer science, data science, microelectronics, microsystems, um, and so on. And at the same time, you make an MBA in technology management. Okay. Why this combination? Because it's not enough to understand the technology. You have to understand how to make money, how to make a business out of technology. Two years to master, that's what we offer. You just mentioned two programs, basically, which are for engineering students precisely. Yeah. So all the two programs are only for engineering students, correct? Well, it, it says for engineering, uh, that's a sweet spot. Engineering students, it could be uh, somebody who with another background business, but ba basically our uh, focus is on technology students. Students, if you are thinking to go to Germany for a master's degree program, and I'm talking about engineering students specifically, um, and you want to have a top university in Germany, so to you, Hamburg, we all know the rankings are pretty good. Yes. Right? Uh, now, this combination is quite unique because now you have two options. So, as Clemens said, that you can do your master's degree as well and you can do your MBA also together, yes, right? Yes, together. So, when, or let's suppose, say, I want to do only MBA. Yes. Can I do only MBA? Yes. We have uh, two programs uh, uh, is where you can also do only MBA. Mm -hmm. That's on the one hand the, the full-time program during the week for 18 months. Or you can also do it as a full-time program on the weekends. Okay. That's then a 24-month program, so a two-year program. Great. So now you can basically come to Germany to a top-notch university in Hamburg and do MBA alone or you can also do a dual degree. That's a very unique combination, I must say, because yes. not many universities in Germany are doing it. Uh, no, there are no universities offering um, uh, um, the double degree, Master of Science and Engineering and, and Master uh, MBA. No, and no university in the world, to, as far as I know. Uh, and also that we're offering an MBA during the week and on the weekends, is, uh, that's also quite unique, yes. So you have basically, when we talk about, the, not talk about the admission requirements. So you uh, need a, a ex work experience for your MBA program? Well, to, to get the title of an MBA, you need at least one year relevant work experience. Otherwise, you get the title MA, so which is also excellent. Great. So students, if you have work experience, you will have a... A minimum one year, you will have MBA plus master's degree in engineering. Yes. Which will be, uh, which all fields do you have in engineering? Well, we have uh, computer science, uh, data science, okay. microelectronics, uh, microsystems, mechatronics. Um, okay. That are the, the most wanted one from, from German companies. We also have uh, chemical and bioprocess engineering and environmental engineering. That are the English uh, programs and there are more to come. 
as you know you must have read on the screen all these students from these backgrounds you can now have your master's degree in germany and that will be a kind of an extra free it's going to be free of course kind of because you're yes, not paying for right. it right you the public universities in germany especially tu hamburg do not charge a tuition fee you only pay for your mba program which yes. you pay anywhere right and That's this, this comes as a completely 100% one plus one offer yes. right that we are very used to in india for one plus one offers you know yeah. <laughs> so i think students will uh, get to know more about this information from the video let's carry on you know with our discussion yeah. what exactly is my opportunity after completing the program so let's say i am a student who has got a master degree from germany from a technical university of germany i have got a, a, a ms degree like a junior degree but another student is getting ms plus mba both so how will he get better you know leverage in the job market well um companies love students coming from a, a prestigious technical university like hamburg university of technology okay but um they the companies especially want people who understand how to make business out of it and okay. that's what you learn with our mba in technology management so you are saying if a mechanical engineer is coming in so as a mechanical engineer from indian university let's suppose say i'm coming from srm university you know i have an engineering degree i will do my engineering masters there but i will also be uh, exposed to the management side exactly so i can do be a part of the i know how to sell a car as well not only make the car yes to sell and to make money or how to build a car so that you can make money off of it so you are saying uh, you are trying to make the employees more you know more sales kind of employee more management point of employee you know not only just manufacturing only yes yeah, not only manufacturing but also planning a product and how to bring it to success how to uh, put it in the segment of the market that's what you learn and that's what the Uh, the companies uh, love and what does it mean uh, that they love it so what does it mean in career chances so with these two degrees there is just co- uh, concerning the education and degrees to my no- point of view no limit to uh, to the careers and if i'm talking about career i'm talking also about money so when you are have a, a, a master of science in engineering um the average uh, salary after your studies uh, in germany will be around about um, 50000 uh, euro if you have an mba the average salary will around about be uh, 60000 euro uh, per annum but the best students of um, tuhh and uh, nit they have the chance to earn up to 100000 uh, euro per year as a starting salary afterwards for, for example Uh, companies like McKinsey uh, or Boston Consulting Group, so very prestigious strategy mm. consulting companies, they pay this as a starting salary. So, and this is because they have the, the, this uh, the double master. So you are saying at least a 20% hike in the salary they should expect because yes. they have a double master. Yes, exactly. And they have m- more skills to offer to yeah. the company. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. And so th- this is already the ROI for 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 the tuition fees uh, because usually you, you, after two or two and a half years you have paid back uh, the tuition. Fee. I think it's very important because you know uh, in life when you uh, i'm an engineer by qualification myself in electronics and communication um i do understand you know when uh, we, when we have a engineering graduates they have very limited amount of knowledge on the management side in india mostly in the eighth semester right uh, when you go for engineering uh, masters you again going for a masters program you know which of course great uh, but in your life you know there are time comes when you get an opportunity to move yourself into management side or yeah. sales side or maybe consulting side you know so once an engineer always an engineer definitely yeah. you know yes, and this mba will always give you an edge over the management decisions yeah. and you know you can also look for new opportunities maybe in 5 years or 10 years down the line if Absolutely. you have the mba and i completely yeah. agree it's a it's a great program so let's move towards from program to admission requirements lot of students apply for germany public university in these top universities and they do not get admission and uh, you know um, I, this is my personal experience you know because the number of applications are huge to germany public universities uh, let's understand what is the audience we're looking at yes. uh, so students know which are the students you know who are the who are eligible for that going for admission requirement if i'm coming from not i'm not i'm not going to talk about iits or i'm not going to talk about nit of course those are the top institutions um what is the admission minimum requirement so what is my gpa should be from yeah. india so the gpa what we are looking for for uh, as we are a top university and we are look for top uh, applicants 
students, uh, we expect a GPA of uh, 80% or more. So okay. that, that's, that, that's the hurdle you have to take. Uh, but you are uh, you are getting a lot out of a top university, but we also have higher standards, so that's what we ask for. So students, if you have 80% in your GPA, you can apply for the admission in NIT, TU, Hamburg, dual master degree program or single as well. So And also if you do not have experience, you will get a master's degree and an MA of the management degree, right? That's excellent. And if you have experience of minimum one year, you will have the master's degree and you will have an MBA. So that's the only difference we're going to say. But 80% is the catch. So if you do not have less than, if you have less than 80%, only if you come from NITs, and I think IITs. Oh, IITs, yeah, that, that, then that, that's another thing. Right. Yes. So then you can apply with even 75, I would yes, say. Yes, exactly. Okay. So uh, now we have done with the admission requirement. IELTS is 6.5 uh, requirement. Yes, IELTS 6.5, that's right. correct. So that was a quick uh, you know, insight of the admission requirement. As you come from the industry, you know, uh, yes. and we were talking off the camera. You know German market like back of your hand. You have been in the industry for so many years. What do you see the future of Indian engineers coming and doing these degrees in Germany? And how will they, you know, will be settled in the market? A bright future. Uh, why is it? Uh, Germany is famous for its engineers and for the uh, success of engineering companies. Uh, that's what uh, is the wealthiness of, um, the basis of the wealthiness of Germany. Okay. So, and, and now the baby boomers are all going uh, be, to be retired. So uh, engine, uh, Germany runs out of engineers. So we are really looking for, for bright uh, minds, for, for, for very good engineers. So I see a bright future for Indian uh, uh, engineers um, to, to have a great career in Germany. I think I'm going to I'm going to put a very special focus on one point which uh, Clement just mentioned about the old age you know problem in Germany which is all over Europe yes. we understand so basically recently in the last 5 7 years you all have seen Germany doing a lot of changes in their visa requirement to attract international students the reason is old population. Yes. So all the you know management employees, all the top employees, you know, you have, of course, they're getting retired. You need more yeah. manpower as well yeah. to expand and run the country. You know, for manufacturing, German manufacturing is very world renowned. You know, we all know that. Absolutely. You know? So I think uh, I completely buy your point. Uh, with the you know you are right. Um, when we talk about students uh, coming to Germany, you have uh, one intake or two intakes. We have uh, one intake in October at the moment. Okay. We are, can be a, quite a little bit flexible uh, to also put uh, uh, some students into uh, April. April intake. Uh, but uh, for, for just for a few. Uh, but uh, we are planning an intake in April for April for the next years. But at the moment, it's October intake. And uh, uh, important to understand, uh, the application period is from uh, from uh, December 1st until March 1st. Uh, students, if you are applying for October intake, great. But if you you want to apply for April intake as well it's possible the seats are going to be limited as you already mentioned yes. you know and you have to rush your application now and we'll be able to help you up for more information you can contact us on this number given on the screen and we'll be happy to give you a personal counseling session but before we go Clems, a small message which you want to deliver to your audience well the small message uh, I was very much looking forward to get a lot of bright engineers and until uh, very good engineers with a managerial mindset to come to to northern germany uh, and if you like to stay in northern germany uh, we have a lot of companies we are working with uh, where we can place you very much looking to your application thank you Clem. thank you so much for this session thanks pleasure meeting you it was a pleasure to thank you together. thank you press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update